slightly off topic we have a goat and we only have her a couple of weeks she was a kid I was told and I didn't expect her to kid so quick or soon but uh, she's kidding as we speak Big ass bales, and no problem. So the trick is to leave the weight of the bale right on the axle. So we have one side of the bale taking the weight of the other side of the bale, which leaves it weightless. So I can lift this now. One handed, or maybe two. So basically, I have my quad and I have my trailer. So I'm going to invest in the future in maybe. Even though this is this has plenty of power and a stronger trailer. Uh, but this is basically proof of concept. I can bring heavy bales of silage with my 450 quad and a little single axle trailer. Now the cattle are just there behind that hedge. I didn't go in any closer. Uh, because I'm starting to slip. But how now? Close enough. I have a road all the way up to the top of the hill and I can just trailer load. I'm only giving them trailer loads of silage anyhow, so I'll be opening that bale there now, filling that trailer and feeding the cattle. So that's what I'm at just now. So yeah, uh, yeah, all good. So it's now Friday the 24th of March and I haven't been recording much now this week. I'll I'll post this today. Um, the big news is at the minute is that we have no other calves yet, but I am expecting at least three in the next week. But the big story is that we have just been getting shower after shower after shower, and now I actually stopped there for a second. Wait, right, I put my hood up. More rain again now, so. The rain has been absolutely relentless. Now, the cows aren't bothered by it. The land isn't bothered by it. Um, as we are moving constantly every few days along this hill, I'm nearly at the end of it. But that way, the ground doesn't get damaged. Now, the biggest issue, I suppose, is basically the logistics of me feeding. When they're in an area for uh, a little bit longer than I would hope, or want them to be but even though they are being moved they're up on this top hill so the access point is a little bit of a lane in a gap down there um, I used to be coming up with the quad and with all the rain we're having it's getting that bit slippy so I'm still managing but yeah uh, um, that's the biggest issue but other than that now the grain the rain for me is a good thing the grass is growing um, what wet weather damages wet weather also heals i find so the poached land that i have probably left a few hoof prints in over the winter is healed as it's resting so yeah so there is a little bit of picking coming on there you can see it's starting to get green and um, it's mild it's meant to be getting cool again but anyhow i'm kind of rushing through this video at the minute um, I'm actually going to pause it here now. Just before I come down here, um, I will show you a little surprise that we had. So I'm going to press stop here now. Slightly off topic. We have a goat. And 
we only have her a couple of weeks. She was a kid, I was told. Now, I didn't expect her to hit so quick or soon. But uh, she's kidding as we speak. She's super friendly, this girl. Um, she's very relaxed with me. That's an amazing thing now. I'm actually on my way down to look after the cows and they come in here and they see this. I was actually going to let her out for the day. I, I put her in at night and I leave her out during the day. Um, now, I'm not that used to this carry on when it comes to goats. What would you do? Would you pull? Um, we give her a little hand actually. As soon as she goes at it again. I noticed her, she had a little puck of a bag this while and yes they she did put up a bit but I didn't expect her to go as quick. She's doing really well actually. She's making great progress. Wished. There we go. I'm glad I didn't intervene now. No idea how many she's going to have even. One, I suppose. They say they have singles their first time round. Look at that. Jesus, she's nearly climbing out. I actually can't believe I caught this. I literally was about to drive out the road. Oh, good girl. You may lick her now, girl. That kid literally came out crawling. Now, I have no idea what it is. Wished? <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> Mammy doesn't know what's going on just yet. I really should uh, maybe go away. Oh, here's another one, is it? No. What is that? Planets. I never seen the likes of that in my life. Well, I did, but that was super handy. You're tired here, are you? You may get to know your kid and fall in love with her. If they're rare for the next while. Let me just see what it is. Super vigorous. Oh, there's a little black spot on her back. What are you, girl? Let me see. Oh, you're a buck. You dirty bastard. <laughs> We have a little book. <laughs> right, but look at we have a nice little book for our goat. We'll leave her to it. I'm normally they only have one the first time round. Yeah, well that's our new spot book kid. That is our goat that we bought about a month ago, I think, and I literally just said I'd look in. I left her in, I'm leaving her in most nights. I left a 
looked in at her there just before I came down and there she was. Isn't that an amazing thing? So I'm gonna go back down and have a look at her. Now, as I say, I'm kind of rushing. So uh, I was wondering how is it our Galloway hadn't cast yet and I was wondering why they had kind of stalled in their progression. Um, so I went back through my videos and I found the day that Mrs. Galloway here was bold and she was bold on the 16th of June, which was a day before the Black White hit up there. She was bold on the 17th, so if you want to call it nine months gestation, she is due since the 16th of March, um, which means that we're now the 24th. So that's four or four is eight. She's eight days overdue, so I don't expect her to calf until she's ten days over. But let me just go in now and have a look. This lady then as well. I may have, unless they repeat it, got the last the date for that black white head wrong. But however, let me just see what this lady is like. Yeah. No major panic with this one. Although the teeth are starting to fill. Definitely, I'll be keeping an eye on her now. Uh, we're Friday, so it's the weekend. Um, I'll have help and we'll keep an eye on her. So then there's this one here now. She has no notion either. Um, the black white head up here. Let me just go up. I'm hugging the phone here now to keep the wind away. There's our little Roni heifer calf. She's starting to pick it silent. Um, no tags yet. They're a wee bit humpy there with them showers, but I can assure you they're in good form. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this lady, the week over. And the limousine up there, the limousine whitehead. Uh, I've no notion about her either, and she has no notion either. I think she broke that one. She may have been bold the second time after six or nine weeks. So that is the situation with the cattle. This lady here that behind me, the horse ringer that I have a date for, is she was bulled on the fifth. God, help us the wind. This lady was bulled on the 5th of July, which leaves are due around Easter time, uh, which is the first Sunday after the full moon in April. I think it's the 9th of April this year. But uh, she is due from the 5th of April on. She could carry 10 days. Her mother used to carry a good uh, almost three weeks. So that is the situation with the calf. I'm not expecting any new calf uh, for at least five days, maybe. I'll keep an eye on them. So that is the story. And then we have young Galloway here making progress as we speak. Missy Moo. No, she hasn't much of a bag now, but um, I do believe that she is carrying to our short horn bull that's gone. So I'm going to go home now. Um, the shower has just eased up, um, but they are relentless. So have I any other news? I'm going to go home now and see my little book kid. Um, make sure she's okay he's okay so that is the story at the 24th of March we're almost through this I think the weather is going to settle down um, uh, after the first week of April although they're talking about snow showers this weekend they say that March comes in like a lamb and goes out like a lion well that's definitely the case this year or vice versa comes in like a lion out like a lamb but it's uh, it's fairly windy and unsettled at the minute, so it's, it's all good. So for now, anyhow, a shortish video, no major news or excitement yet, but watch this space, we'll be back. So for now, I'll say good luck and goodbye.